Dear learners, you have learned so many important Arabic words and simple sentences. Now in this lecture, I will give you the names of months in Arabic. Many of you are familiar with English months like January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. In Arabic, most of the time you will find that we also follow the English version. January in Arabic is Yanair. Yanair. On the same pattern but in Arabic style. January Yanair. January Yanair. Similarly, February, 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 March, March, Mars, Mars, with seam, Mim, Alif, Ra, seam. March is Mars in Arabic. April is April, Ba, with Ba, not Pa, because Pa, that is not there, in fact, you. Most of you who are familiar with Arabic alphabet know that Pa is not there. So Ba, Ba. So April, April is April, April, April. Then the next month is May, May. And in Arabic we say Mayu, Mayu. May is Mayu. So it's very easy to learn because you are familiar with English months, English names of months. In Arabic, you can easily follow it and you can do it. May is Mayu. June. June is Junio. June is Junio. Then July. July. July is Junio. Junio. Then September. September is September. September. September, September, okay. October, October, November, November, and December is December. So you have seen, you can easily learn it. It's very easy and simple. It's on the pattern of English, and you know English names of the month. You can easily learn Arabic one. There's not much difference. You have to learn in Arabic style, in Arabic pattern, and you will easily rock on. So in this lecture, I will help you practice it because you have known it January, Yanayar, February, February. So now I am, I am helping you practice it in question and answer form. Okay, there is question and you will answer. Of course, I will read, I will say the same thing and you will follow me. So try to say it. Ayyu shaharin hadha. Ayyu shaharin hadha. Hadha shaharu yanayir. Hadha shaharu yanayir. See, see the question. Ayyu shaharin hadha. Shahar, what is shahar? Shahar is month. Month in Arabic. So ayyu shaharin hadha. Hadha shaharu Yanayar. Ma huwa shahar al qadim? Ma huwa shahar al qadim? Al shahar al qadim huwa febrayr. Al shahar al qadim huwa febrayr. So shahar yanayar, shahar febrayr. You know. So this this way, you know, you are learning it now. Al shahar al qadim huwa febrayr. Or now, has a shaharu febrayer. You can say, has a shaharu febrayer. Ma hu shaharu qadim. Ma hu shaharu qadim. You can ask, ask the question. And the answer is, a shaharu qadim huwa mars. A shaharu qadim huwa mars. Again, 
you can ask the question mahfuz shahrul qadim what is the coming month or please tell me the coming month and a shahrul qadim huwa april i told you earlier april april is english and in arabic april 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 alif with hamza ba bi sukun and ra uh, with kasra ya lam april so a shahr al qadim huwa april a shahr al qadim huwa april ay shahr hadha hadha shahr april 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 is april april ma huwa al shahr al qadim ما هو الشهر القادم الشهر القادم هو مايو مايو so, اي شهر هذا اي شهر هذا هذا شهر مايو سي مي ذا مانث اوف مي از ان عربيك مايو مايو ما هو الشهر القادم ما هو الشهر القادم اند انسر از الشهر القادم هو يونيو الشهر القادم هو يونيو سو سي يو ار ايزلي ليرنينغ ذا نيمز اوف مانث ان عربيك از ويل ان انجلش يو نو جون جولاي اند ان عربيك ان ذا اون ذا سيم باترن يونيو يونيو يوليو يو نو جون جولاي سو الشهر القادم هو يونيو اي شهر هذا هذا شهر يونيو هذا شهر يونيو ما هو الشهر القادم ما هو الشهر القادم الشهر القادم هو يوليو 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 اي شهر هذا هذا شهر يوليو ما هو الشهر القادم الشهر القادم هو اغسطس اغسطس طس يو سي اغسط اي يو جي يو اس تي اغسط اغسط از يو نو انجلش نيم اوف ذا مانث اغسط يو سي هاو وي ار سينج ان ان عربي اغسطس سيم ان عربيك يو نو في عربيك ستايل عربيك Arabic has its own way of, you know, uh, uh, expressing its own style, its own sound, and you see how August, the month of August, is Augustus. Augustus. This is the pronunciation. So, a shahr al qadim huwa Augustus. Augustus. And now the next question: Ayu shahr haza? Ayu shahr haza? Haza shahru? اغسطس ما هو الشهر القادم الشهر القادم هو سبتمبر سبتمبر this can be you know in a dialogue form you can have your colleague or your friend with you and your friend will ask the question ايو شهر هذا and you will answer هذا شهر سبتمبر or you yourself will ask the question and your friend will answer it has a shahr september you know this way you can practice i am giving you the pattern i am giving you the you know sentence expression and it's your duty to practice it so you can form the group you can have many friends with you or at least two people and one person will ask the question and the next person will reply has a shahr september uh, or the person will ask ma hu shahr al qadim and the answer will be ashhar al qadim huwa october so it's up to you how you are forming the group and in what way you are practicing it's up to you i am just giving you the sentences and the expressions the way it is said in arabic ashhar al qadim huwa october now the next ayu shahr hadha ayu shahr hadha same way hadha shahr october and the, and the question again ma hu shahr al qadim da you see two type of questions we are saying ayu shahr hadha 
this is the one way of you know asking the question and the another one is ma hu shahar qadim suppose the person replies haza shahar october but you wa- you want to know the coming month so the question will be ma hu shahar qadim ma hu shahar qadim and the answer is ash shahar qadim huwa november november ash shahar qadim huwa november okay then the question is ayyu shahar haza ayyu shahar haza haza shahar november ما هو الشهر القادم ما هو الشهر القادم الشهر القادم هو ديسمبر 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 اي شهر هذا اي شهر هذا اند اجين ذا انسر از هذا شهر شهر ديسمبر ديير لرنرز يو هاف ليرنت ميني امبورتنت عربيك ووردز اسبيشلي ذا نيمز اوف مانثس ان arabic but remember these are the months which you already are familiar with these are the names of months which you already know january february march april may june july august september october november december these are english names of months and in arabic we have helped you to practice it similarly january yanayar february February, March, Mars, April, April, May is Mayu, June is Junio, July is Julio, August is Augustus, September, September, October, October, November, November, December. December so and ayu shahar hada hada shahar janayar ayu shahar hada hada shahar this way you have practiced it so dear learners i think now you have learned it and you have practiced it and you have enjoyed it because it was not difficult at all for you to learn it because of the english because of your familiarity with the names of months in english now it's it's my duty to tell you the actual arabic months you know these were the months which are english months but most of the people use it in arabic as well you know but now i am going to give you some more you know words or names of the months but these are the purely arabic months here is you you, are, you will not get the opportunity to translate or or, or you uh, learn through english you know here you have to these are the pure arabic months so you have to learn it you have to even memorize it without that it will not be possible for you you know to claim that you have learned it you know so dear learners uh before i you know start helping you practice this i would like you to you know just uh, uh learn the names of months in arabic so the first month in arabic is called muharram 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 ha the sound is ha it is not ha ha muharram or shahr muharram shahr shahr is month muharram is the first arabic month muharram second one is safar muharram safar then rabiu al awwal rabiu al thani jamaat al ula jamaat al akhir rajab shaaban shawal rajab shaaban ramadan shawal dhiqada dhil hijja so this way you have all the 12 arabic months now dear learners i will you know help you to practice it because i know that you do not know these arabic months you are not very much familiar unlike english one that you have earlier learned this one might be little bit difficult for you to learn so i will you know say on the same pattern i will help you to practice it so 
The question is أي شهر هذا؟ أي شهر هذا؟ أي شهر هذا؟ Which month? Which one? أي شهر هذا؟ هذا هذا شهر محرم أي شهر هذا؟ هذا شهر محرم ما هو الشهر القادم؟ ما هو الشهر القادم؟ الشهر القادم هو صفر الشهر القادم هو صفر أي شهر هذا؟ هذا شهر محرم محرم is the first month Now the next one is صفر So the question ما هو الشهر القادم؟ And the answer is الشهر القادم هو صفر صفر If you are if you have your friend along with you you can you can ask your friend ما هو الشهر القادم and your friend will reply with the help of the screen الشهر القادم هو صفر صفر then ما هو الشهر القادم الشهر القادم هو صفر or هذا شهر صفر two way of you know replying الشهر القادم هو صفر or simple if somebody says شهر صفر or صفر it means it means oh, the person has answered the person has answered now the next is ما هو الشهر القادم ما هو الشهر القادم and the answer is الشهر القادم هو ربيع الأول الشهر القادم هو ربيع الأول الشهر القادم هو ربيع الأول أي شهر هذا؟ أي شهر هذا؟ الشهر القادم هو ربيع الأول and or أي شهر هذا؟ الشهر القادم هو ربيع الثاني ثاني ثاني you know so there are two way of replying to the same question ما هو الشهر القادم؟ الشهر القادم هو ربيع الثاني or هذا ربيع الثاني or الشهر القادم هو ربيع الأول or هذا ربيع الأول or simple ربيع الأول or if you want to tell this is this is the month of ربيع الثاني so you will say ربيع الثاني that's all if you do not want to use you know complete sentence you just want to give the information or tell the exact month you know so you can say that الشهر القادم هو ربيع الثاني ربيع الثاني أي شهر هذا okay now the question is أي شهر هذا هذا شهر ربيع الأول هذا شهر ربيع الثاني you know so ربيع الأول ربيع الثاني الثاني ثا ثا that is the word so so next is ما هو الشهر القادم ما هو الشهر القادم الشهر القادم هو جماد الأول جماد الأول you know الشهر القادم هو جماد الأول this way أي شهر هذا هذا شهر جماد الأول هذا شهر جماد الأول so two way you know الشهر القادم هو جماد الأول أو هذا شهر جماد الأول ما هو الشهر القادم الشهر القادم هو جماد الثاني جماد الثاني or هذا هذا شهر جماد الثاني so you see both way you are able to reply you can say الشهر القادم هو جماد الأول أو الشهر القادم هو جماد الثاني or هذا جماد الأول هذا جماد الثاني or even leave هذا جماد الأول or جماد الثاني just mention the name of the month that's all you need not you know say complete sentence so this is the difference you know you have the liberty you have the liberty to use complete sentence or you can just 
say the name of the month and you have conveyed the message you have said what you want to say you know so that is you know that is up to you if you want to use complete sentence well and good if you want to just mention the name of the month that is equally good there is no issue at all so dear learners i hope it's really you know exciting to learn arabic names of the month uh, and i believe it's not very difficult you know given this type of practice where there is question and the answer question and the answer ayu shahar hada hada shahar jamad thani you know or ma huwa shahar al qadim ma huwa shahar al qadim question al shahar al qadim huwa rajab but again i i am i am i, I will request you to involve your friend and let your friend ask the question and you, you reply your friend will say ma huwa ma huwa shahar al qadim and you will say al shahar al qadim huwa rajab or ayu shahar hada haza shahar al rajab or simple shahar al rajab or sometimes you you can change you know you can exchange it you yourself will ask the question ma huwa shahar al qadim and your friend will reply haza shahar al rajab haza shahar al rajab okay so this way you can learn arabic and you can enjoy it because you are talking to your friend you are discussing with him and you are having a very good time you know learning one of the most you know beautiful language and very you know improving your knowledge is always you know interesting exciting it's always you know a very you know it's a blessing so if you got the opportunity to learn it so learn it by heart involve your friend your colleague with you have discussion speak as much as you can practice as much as you can and the more you will practice the more perfect you will become so this is really really very exciting thing that you are doing my my dear learners now i am moving on and going to the next you know hada shahar rajab hada shahar rajab hada shahar rajab ayu shahar hada hada shahar rajab ما هو الشهر القادم الشهر القادم هو شعبان هو شعبان اي شهر هذا هذا شهر شعبان you know this you know it's really very interesting to learn this way you know اي شهر هذا هذا شهر شعبان شعبان so actual name of the month is شعبان شعبان and you can say هذا شهر شعبان or الشهر القادم هو شعبان or simply leave that just say shaban shaban and you are communicating you are saying what you want want to say now the next is ma huwa shahar al qadim ma huwa shahar al qadim so this way you have learned shahar al rajab you have learned shahar al shaban shaban and now the next one is after shaban we have next one ramadan 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 wad it's not z d h you know wad wad ramadan shahr ramadan you know so ma huwa shahr al qadim ma huwa shahr al qadim al shahr al qadim huwa ramadan 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 you know ayu shahr hada اي شهر هذا هذا شهر رمضان هذا شهر رمضان وما هو الشهر القادم الشهر القادم هو شوال dear learners i hope that with this practice you know you are able to have grasp you know good grasp on this you know language and you are able to learn arabic months these are pure arabic months you know and it's good to learn them it's good to memorize them you know so we after ramadan now we are shawwal we are going to give you shawwal al shahr al qadim ma huwa al shahr al qadim al shahr al qadim huwa shawwal shawwal ayu shahr hada which month is this so hada shahr shawwal hada shahr شوال اور سمبل 
Shawwal, Shawwal, Shawwal. So this way, this way, this way, you are able to, you know, communicate, and you are able to, you know, not only learn the Arabic months, but also have conversation based on these pure Arabic months with your friend. So I am always reminding you that whenever you practice this, always involve your friend with you. Do not do it all alone because it will not be that interesting for you. Okay? If you have your friend along with you and your friend is asking the question, "Are you Shahr Haza?" and you are le- replying, "Haza Shahr Ramadan, Haza Shahr Shawwal," then it's good. You know, it's good. Now next is, "Ma hu Shahr al-Qadim?" Al-Shahr al-Qadim huwa. ذل قاعدة ذل قاعدة ذل قاعدة اوكي ذل قاعدة and next اي شهر هذا هذا شهر ذل قاعدة اوكي or الشهر القادم هو ذل قاعدة now the next ما هو الشهر القادم ما هو الشهر القادم الشهر القادم هو ذل حجة ذل حجة الشهر القادم هو ذو الحجة أي شهر هذا؟ هذا شهر ذي الحجة أوكي هذا شهر ذي الحجة أي شهر هذا؟ هذا شهر ذي الحجة أوكي Dear learners you have learned Arabic days of months first we taught you the english months like january february so in arabic yanayar febrayar okay so january in arabic is yanayar february febrayar march is mars Ap- april is april may is mayu june junio july julio august augustus september september October, October, November, November, December, December. So, and you have also practiced uh, these months in the question and answer form. Where ayu shahar hada, haza shahar anair, ayu shahar hada, or mahu shahar qadim, a shahar qadim huwa February. So, this way you have practiced it. Next, I have taught you the pure Arabic months like Muharram, Safar, Rabiul Awal, Rabiul Thani, Jamadul Awal, Jamadul Akhar, Rajab, Sha'ban, Ramadan, Shawwal, Zuyqada, Zilhijjah. Okay, so you have learned all these pure Arabic months as well. And along with question answer form, you have practiced it. So you have your friend along with you. Your friend is asking the question, "Are you shahar hada?" And you are replying, "Hada shahar muharram." Are you shahar hada or mahu shahar qadim? And your friend is replying, "A shahar qadim huwa safar." Okay. So this way, practice the lesson as much as you can. Practice because practice will make you perfect. So dear learners, keep on practicing it and. and with practice i am sure you will be able to memorize all these months of arabic and use it in your everyday life so thank you for listening and have a good day bye bye